Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com my name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important session for UBI SO forex exam so important numericals we are going to share the fifth numerical that I'm going to share would be very important it's a short 10 minute session go through the entire session I'm not going to take much time you can speed up the video by 1.2x 25x or 1.5 if you're watching on YouTube speed right because I speak little slow right so students my name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years this is my whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts and I'm going to answer all your doubts no issues okay so UBI assistant manager forex course is already available on bank exams today.com you can join it and also available for the credit manager we are covering the entire syllabus with the help of video classes notes live sessions quizzes test series everything is available all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked the respective exams so let's start the session with uh, question number one. Pahla question karte hai. Exchange rate between currency A and currency B. Given the value of currencies A and B. So please read this. Given the value of currencies A and B with respect to a third currency. With respect to a third currency means we are talking about cross exchange rate with respect to a third currency हमारे पास INR to USD का rate available है right INR to USD का rate available है we got <coughs> uh, INR to you uh, to the pounds let's say uh, British pound British pound का हमारे पास uh, rate है तो we can easily find out US dollar with the with the base uh, British pound तो वो हम निकाल सकते हैं that is known as the cross exchange rate we'll do a good example for that uh, the south african rand the south african rand per japanese yen ka rate is available spot rate spot rate jo abhi chal raha hai uh, the korean won per japanese uh, uh, yen ka rate hamare paas available hai that is 10.9331 so we need to find out korean won per south african rand we need to find it out how we can do that so हमारे पास दोनों रेट हैं, so what we are going to do is the Korean won to the Japanese yen that we already have, and what we what if we do it like like this, right? All these this information is available to us, right? So that information is available ten point nine three three one. इसको हमने उल्टा उल्टा दिया था this this one so just do this one divided by 0 0.13563 it's difficult to do it uh, with with your hands but a rough idea say up kar sakte ho if you want to do it uh, that's how you can do it i guess right i mean it's not that difficult as a girl to easily up nikal sakte ho 80.6097 is a correct answer okay let's move on to the question number three foreign exchange risk is defined as what foreign exchange risk is defined as variance in the value of assets liabilities and operating incomes due to unanticipated changes in the exchange rate Ex foreign exchange uh, exchange risk kya hai? the value of foreign exchange foreign currency is going up and down and that is affecting our margins that is that is affecting our profits so that is what that is foreign exchange risk and that's that should be avoided with the help of hedging the Hong Kong dollar per uh, Singapore dollar rate has increased from has rate has increased from 5.4512 to 5.7458 very important question the appreciation or depreciation of Hong Kong dollars with the, uh, with the relative low to Singapore dollar. So uh, how many Hong Kong dollars you get per Singapore dollar? It's 5.4512. Uh, it's the price bada hai, right? But what we need to calculate? We are going to uh, we want to find out the appreciation or depreciation of Hong Kong dollars. So what we are going to do? We are going to uh, one divided by that's how we are going to do it. Iski value as a one divided by five four 
five one two. That is how we are going to find the value. Uh, if we want to make Hong Kong dollar as base, अगर हमें Hong Kong dollar की value निकालनी है तो हमें rate convert करने पड़ेंगे right? So ये हमारा base बन जाएगा जब Hong Kong dollars only then we can find out the values okay only then we can find out the appreciation or depreciation in Hong Kong dollars right? So पहले value कितनी थी it used to be uh point one eight three four four that was the rate per hong kong dollars right and then how much it became it became how much one point just a second one divided by five seven four five eight and it became how much point one seven four zero four so that it used to be and then it became this okay so minus कर देंगे and you will get point zero zero nine four so if you want to calculate कितना कम हो गया divided by point zero the point one eight three four four so it's roughly five point one two percent drop हुआ है price okay five point one two percent price has been dropped okay so A is the correct answer okay so one thing you need to understand if it has been asked that what is the appreciation or depreciation of hong kong dollars the the rates in the rates the hong kong dollar should be in the base value here in the question the singapore dollar was in the base value so we cannot calculate it we need to convert the rates where the hong kong dollars are in the base value theek hai so that's how we did it by simply converting it one divided by whatever the rate is convert हो जाता है easily so <coughs> the spot spot Brazilian real it's not real hold on <laughs> that actually confused me that is Brazilian currency Brazilian real or Brazilian races that's what they call it तो ये ब्राज़ील की करेंसी है सो स्पॉट ब्राज़ील ब्राज़ीलियन रियाल पर यूएस डॉलर रेट इज गिवन ओके बट द इंटरेस्ट रेट इन यूएस इज 2.1 परसेंट इंटरेस्ट रेट इन ब्राज़ील इज 5.4 परसेंट सो 90 डेज फॉरवर्ड रेट क्या होगा राइट सो इंटरेस्ट रेट पैरिटी का फॉर्मूला द सिंपल फॉर्मूला इंटरेस्ट रेट वुड एन इफेक्ट फॉर श्योर राइट करेंसी पे इफेक्ट है डायरेक्टली इफेक्ट है इंटरेस्ट रेट का सो सिंपली देर इज अ सिंपल फॉर्मूला टू डू दैट दिस इज अ फॉर्मूला द टाइम वैल्यू ऑफ मनी राइट सो स्पॉट रेट मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन प्लस द इंटरेस्ट रेट ऑफ द इंटरेस्ट रेट ऑफ द ऑफ द ऑफ द ए द ब्राजील डिवाइडेड बाय इंटरेस्ट रेट ऑफ द बेस करेंसी राइट सो टी इज देयर टी इज अ टाइम so here it is 90 days so 90 90 days कितना हो गया three months divided by twelve months it becomes how much 0.25 so 3.9782 that was the spot rate one plus 0.054 right and जो time था three ninety days three divided by twelve three months divided by twelve months that is 0.25 so you need to calculate it you can use your calculators and you will get this 4.0108 so that is spot plus uh, 326 points so that is the correct answer spot plus 326 points okay so i hope you understood the today's session in the past i have seen these questions only in the exam these three questions two three questions i have seen in the exam this cross rate wala question has been repeated multiple times and the appreciation and depreciation wala question has been repeated and the interest rate parity ka simple sub formula these three questions have been repeated in the past multiple times in your in the exams and i'm damn sure that you are going to find one question a question jo hai zarur aayega in teeno question mein se ek question aapke exam mein 100% aayega फॉरेक्स का कोई भी एग्जाम दीजिए इन तीनों में से एक क्वेश्चन आना ही आना है नो डाउट एट ऑल राइट सो आई होप यू लाइक द टुडे सेशन स्टूडेंट ओनली फाइव क्वेश्चंस आई हैव डन टुडे 
and you can join the Union Bank of India Assistant Manager Forex course available on bank exams today in which we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, test series and live sessions, right? Proper mock tests are available. And we have also provided the Union Bank of India Credit Manager courses. Both these courses are available on bankexamstudy.com. And in case there is any doubt in your mind, you can ask your doubts. All these happy faces, all these students, they took our courses in the past and they got the final selection. And I'm really, really happy for them. All these happy faces, they took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams with the help of our courses. And I'm really, really happy for them. So students, if there is any doubt in your mind, you should always ask your doubts from us. And that's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.